MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. Nationals baseball starts right now. Steven Strasburg gets the ball for Washington in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's a fun guy to watch. It's not necessarily an overpowering guy. He has an ERA in the low threes. But one thing he knows how to do, he knows how to pitch and he knows how to minimize damage. If you're going to have an ERA in the low threes in this day and age, you're doing a lot of things right. Off the this guy should be fun to watch in this one. Now batting, Gene Segura. He will lead this one Segura. off today. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Aye. Big breaker that time as it catches the inside for a called strike. Fellas, the Nationals, as they take the field here today, 4-2 over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of the series. And he fouls this one off. Curveball swung out and missed, and the leadoff man is retired to start out the game. Batting so second. stepping in, Morgan Forsythe. His Logan. past numbers with Steven Strasburg. He hasn't had much success, just two for 11. He's taken him deep once. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. Should be a picture perfect afternoon for baseball. 78 degrees at first pitch. Way the 0 1 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though, Dan. You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill it. And the slider gets him swinging to God. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Hurt. Looking back at his the last start, field. he racked up nine Ks. And now he's looking job. like he can put up similar numbers in this one. Blake now, Mark Withenshaw. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Looking to at least put the ball in play here this inning. The 1 0 home. Ball, that kick out. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been breaking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Three and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to be down. The 3 0 pitch is looked at for the first strike. Four pitches, all takes, showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Eddie. He can do a lot of damage on a base pass with his legs, so there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Here's Bryce Harper now, and as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Runner! The pitch, pitch outside, the throw. He's 
in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Withenshaw stands at second with two gone. 2-1 and one after the foul ball there. Two and one, here it is. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hit. Ready with the 3-1. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. on the run and they can't run it down a one and one count to the Nationals leadoff batter Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies as they begin play here today they come off another loss last time out and in fact they've dropped three of their last four yeah, Matty V. And you know what, D. Rowe, now I guess it's time where you push that go button. You're getting a little sense of urgency. They find themselves in third place. And if they want to be part of the postseason picture. It's time to get going and get going pronto. Yeah, it's taken too long for this team to carve out any identity for themselves. They're going to have to find a way to get on a roll, offensively or pitch better. Something's got to change. Got him. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, can't get on first base and strike out. Adam Eaton digging in next. Good look at a fastball too high for ball one. Comes into this one at 271. A dozen home runs and 38 runs batted in. Count now a ball and a strike. Here's the one and one delivery. Ball and two strikes now. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. Misses ball two. Here now the 2 2. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it to the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. Four sides ranging to his right. Throwing the 
Yeah. Dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Hoskins. As it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, and one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, that kid. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Hoskins retired and there's one away. That is good. The left fielder, number 23. So one away here with the bases empty. And stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter, Jay Bruce. First pitch on its way. In there, strike one. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. No score here as we play inning number two. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Hit hard down the line. Uh, this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Fouled away. Here comes another 0 2. Try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. The one two misses the ball two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. That swing tells me he was really that trying to get a pitch out front and work it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Standing in now, Justin Turner ball. as the first pitch to him is taken low and away ball one, for ball no one. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Curveball that's one low strike. in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And the pitch. And it's two balls two and two ball. strikes now. Two strikes. You know, when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Second, no score. So now it'll 
be the four hole hitter, Jeremy De La Rosa. That's going to get his first opportunity in this one. Jeremy. Now here's the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, that's out. Slapped hard the opposite way. And the Nationals have their first base hit of the ball game. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. No mistake when he was sitting on it. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, delivers the hard hit line drive. Riding in now for the Nats, Starlin Castro. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Here's the first pitch to him on the ground to the right side. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The third base number four. Striding in, number four. And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball's in there for strike one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he would swing at that one. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Liner in there for the base hit. Comes in the third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. And after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to some, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging at that pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. to the at bat on its way starts him out with a curveball for a strike with some traffic on the base pass nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one a one pitch on its way hit on the ground down the first baseline uh, this will get foul for strike two Runners are at the corners with one man out. Ball one. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one two. Sharp slider right taken low for a ball. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that back of dead. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, their chances of pushing across the run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Wait now, Sean Murphy, as he'll try to go back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Comes set, the 0-1. Into right field, that's a base hit. And the run will score as the Nats are off to a 1-0 lead. We're talking about picking strikeout. Big, big, and I mean big, two RBI 
nice thing. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your back right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside, it stayed through the baseball and was able to come. So now to the plate, Steven Strasburg. Inside. So take a look at ball one. Well, this guy's just gifted him with a two-out RBI, and now he's got a chance to help himself, too. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One and two count. Here's the pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Nationals lead it one to nothing. Washington, D.C., home of the Nationals, who have certainly treated these fans to some impressive pitching so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in strikeouts, so this is a pitching staff that possesses a lot of dominant arms. One of them told me, the talent and pure stuff on this team is ridiculous. So as long as we're going after the hitters and commanding our pitches in the right spots, we'll have a lot of success. Most of the time, that's the case, and that's because we trust in our abilities. Pretty clear these guys are some of the best to keep the opposition off balance. Matt? Thank you, Heidi. Collins. Into the box now. Zach Collins. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox, east to west. And the Phillies are into the hit call. Hey, right here, anytime a leadoff hitter gets on in front of the pitcher, it puts the defense on notice. You're going to see the third baseman creeping in. You're going to see the first baseman crashing. Trying to get that out at second base. But if not, Make sure of Into the box now, Jared Eichel. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. That's the second for one on the first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Yeah, I like the way he stayed right in there at second base, knowing he was vulnerable, but it definitely influenced the throw to first. Way offline, and he's going to get charged with an error as a result. Digging in to try it again, Gene Segura, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. From the stretch. Hey. Now the 0-1. Nope, that's a ball. Fastball well off the plate for a ball. One and one. Runner at second here with one man out. Segura behind on a one and two count. This is hit high and deep out to left. Ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now that the second baseman, Logan Forsyth. Now at the plate, Logan Forsythe, runner in scoring position with Sagan. First offering on its way. Outside, that's the ball. Forsythe, 33 years old, was selected in the first round during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Here's a pop 
step up now. Turner put this one away and the side is retired. Philly strand one. They trail this one one to nothing. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. Nope. And That's that inside. won't find the zone either. So speed on base here to begin the inning. It's a four-pitch walk. As if things are tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter. And, oh, yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this out. Stepping in, Adam Eaton. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The 1 0. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first down. So a runner on first with one out now, and that will bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. Now a throw over, and he'll get back in safely. Here it comes. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. The 1 0. It's a fastball that misses. That could be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count, and if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. Here comes the two off Turner's on his horse on his way to second. That's a strike to throw down. He is not close as he's in there with his golden base. Francisco Liriano is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Francisco Liriano. Jeremy De La Rosa will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. 
Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two, the pitch. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crack it up out there. Uh, just nope. trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Two outs here with a runner at third. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Nationals leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Mark Withenshaw. Withenshaw. The set and the pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. One and two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Grounded up the first baseline. And this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Another one sent foul. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number one. The right fielder of the three. Right. Harper. Bryce Harper, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. One and oh, the count. Turns this one around high and deep to center field. Gone! A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. 32 now for the season. And it brings the Phillies back even now at one apiece. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. And he did just that. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Ball one to start the at bat.
one run, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Two oh, balls and no strikes. Two and oh, here it is. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 2-1. It's in there for strike number two. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he sat down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. We know he's probably still thinking about that game time home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Here's Jay Bruce now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes, 1 and 0. And that's in there for his strike 1 and 1. on the way swung on and chopped to third reined in and no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily and yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box not everybody's getting it now right out of the shoot feet. from step one but I have to ask you Dan how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock it is D-Roy you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher you can read the angle you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground and you're thinking deep down inside Okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Into That's the box, ball. Justin Turner. One ball, no strikes the count. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Popped him up. Nevin has a play. And that ends the end. Bills have come back to tie it thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up, all tied at one and one. So here's Starlin Castro comes into this at bat over one in the ball game. The second season, Starlin. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, strike one. One ball, one strike. One one. He's in there for the second strike. is even at two and two to Starlin Castro. And this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning. We'll start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. There's one away. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. In now, number four. As he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. A base hit in his first trip. He 
And the pitch. One run on three hits. One error thus far for the Nationals. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. The one, two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Wow, he's not even being subtle about it. He almost hits him with the previous pitch, and then he actually does it with the next one. Going to be interesting to see if they seek revenge at some point. Digging in, Tyler Nevin. First pitch of the at-bat. And it's fouled away. Nevin, a 22-year-old. This is his first year at the big league level. Run him, run there we go. Pitch outside the throw. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Hey, it's almost impossible for a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Softly hit out to short. Bare-handed by Segura. Oh. Got him. The bat. The catcher. No. Murphy. In now, Sean Murphy. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave. Him. And he lays off there, 1 0. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. The set, and the 2 and 0. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. to lay off of but he did somehow he's got it for three and one here's the game within the game you have a better matchup on deck you've got a three one count in this situation don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy three and one the pitch hey. you know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with the base open to work with. Ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. The payoff pitch, and he fouls this one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. High and deep to center field. Going back is the center fielder, still going back.
sure some lucky kid gets a souvenir. He's been huge for them in this At the plate, Steven Strasburg. And he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Liriano sets 0-1 on its way. Fouled off. Swing and a liner, but foul. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two to the Nationals pitcher. Hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Oh, to two balls and two strikes now. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. To bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Pitch of the at bat. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two run home run. We played four. It's now three to one, Washington. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, Zach Collins. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. The 1-0 is laid off ball for ball two. Time. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Now the pitch. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3-0. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. 3 0 pitch. Ball and a good eye ball. here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. Now that One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four go. pitches is pretty Good alarming. Honor. He looks a little thrown off right now. Standing in, Francisco Liriano, 
first at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. As a look now to pitch. Squaring is Liriano when he gets the bunt down. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. I'm not sure if this happened or not. I mean, sometimes when you're playing behind a pitcher who's doing all of the work himself, you get caught up a little bit in kind of a trance and you get lulled to sleep out there. Looked like to me he was caught a little off guard when the play came his way. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. First offering on its way. And a check swing here. Oh, no. Really went around. The pitch that would have been a strike anyway. Nothing Time for the first down. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count, Owen, too, right? You have to protect the fastball. You have to look at the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind Owen, too. And Blake now, Logan Forsyth. Oh. Fastball here as we'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Go for two for him to this point. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. First and second now, one man out. Pitch down and away. Ball two. Swing and a ground ball to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. With a job. Plate now, Mark Withenshaw. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. The 1 0 home. Oh, that's well hit. Deep center field. Ball that's carrying. A leaping effort, and he brings it in. Two away now after a great effort. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. Right. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Ready for another shot now. Bryce Harper as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Boy, this guy right here in that last A.B. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch for the big part of the That's ballpark. The but a guy like this, if that he has to to hit it out the center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Yanked on the ground down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. Belt one and two now. That's a pitch you'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at. It. 
sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by Castro. Throw to first in time. And the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. The Phillies will have to be content with just the one. The last half of the fifth coming up. The Nationals are out in front here. Three to two. Shortstop, Trey Turner. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bruce giving chase. He's there and records the first down. The right fielder, number two, Adam Eaton. Into the box now, Adam Eaton. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Bruce has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Well, left fielder, number 22. Oh. Stepping into the box, Juan Soto. A couple of those ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. Liriano sets. First pitch on its way. Bouncer to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Five innings complete. It's the Nationals three and the Phillies two. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Pitch. One oh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The one oh misses for the second ball. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Balls behind an account 2 0. Oh, it's time to start getting locked in. The 2 0 oh on the way. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. And it's fouled away. Stands in right out of play. Fastball out well outside. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. And right into the shift. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. 
well. This pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. So now to the plate, Jay Bruce. Right. He'll take strike one on the inside corner. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Bruce around the bag, heading for second now. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And he honestly didn't let last night's hit was out and get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. So take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Turner in front at three balls in a strike. Well, that's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And it's up to a three-two full count now. Takes the change up the other way out toward right center. Eaton is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now batting. The catcher. Zach Collins. At the plate, Zach Collins. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Oh, that ball's driven into left center. This could be trouble, and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. In at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. And he's one rookie that's not afraid of the moment. That's his second knock of the game. This one a double, and he looks like the type of player that knows he belongs. Corey Dickerson will come on now as a pinch hitter, so that'll spell the end for Francisco Liriano. Corey Dickerson. A ball and no strikes. Good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Two out here and a runner at second. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. the stretch the one two. Two, ball, two strike. pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there if I'm pitching I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed the two two pitch smoked on the ground left side 
And that's through in the left, a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long. And that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Boucher in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot. Two on and two away. Boucher. Gene Segura standing in as he takes a fastball off the plate for the ball, 1-0. Oh. One and 1-0, oh. here it is. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. Balls in a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Philly shortstop in front of the count, three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Three and one, here it is. Three and two, full count. Runners on first and third, two away. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Digging in and looking for more, Logan Forsythe. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. First delivery to him on the way. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Herter feels it clean. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One for the Phillies here on the RBI double. On to the bottom of the set. We're tied now with three at beat. Medina enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. the cleanup hitter, Jeremy De La Rosa. He's one for two in the ball game. Jeremy De La Rosa. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. Up and the 0 1. Eight, two. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work, and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to Whoa. deal with an 0 2 count. Wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there, 1 and 2. The pitch. Bouncer to the left side. And there's one down there. Here's Starlin Castro. He's 0 for 2 thus far 
behind this one. Now here's the pitch. Swung on and missed by the first strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. This one off. One out, nobody on. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Up with it, Collins. And the throw is in time. Castro is retired. Two down now. Number four. Stepping into the box, number four. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully, it doesn't stiff it up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Segura will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Nationals gone in order. Six innings are in the books. Score holds it three to three. So digging in now, Mark Withenshaw. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Withenshaw. First pitch on its way. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. All right. And he chased out of the zone there. Oh, he's down two strikes. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2 multiple ways Hi. up, down, in, and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. He couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Mark Withenshaw is down for the first out in the seventh inning. Harper. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in the strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Two mid 90s fastballs and they're down 0 2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pop them in. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a check swing here, appealed down to third. James Kingsley says he held up. Ball one. A one two. He's taken for ball two. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground with the left side. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. Now battle, the first baseman, Reese Hopkins. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. Oh. So take a look at ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Up. Here comes the 1 0. Hits this one hard the other way. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him 1 for 4 in the game now. And that keeps the inning alive for now Jay Bruce. The left hey, look Jay at this guy compete Bruce. right there. Nice base hit. Are you kidding me? He had already had the hat track. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face, and he said, hey, look at this. At the plate, Jay Bruce. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. He's two for three and looking for more here. And he 
turns this one around high and deep to center field. Center fielder looking up. The track. The wall. Gone. A two-run shot that gives them the lead. A two-run homer for Jay Bruce. Number 13 for him on the year. And it's now 5-3. Big swing right there. Give himself a little bit of breathing room. Let his pitcher go to work. Now they're up two. Now at the plate, Justin Turner. And then after that home run, it looks now like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and the win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Here comes the first pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Eaton is under it. Trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. Get up and stretch. It's now five to three, Philadelphia. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Call the strike on the outer half, 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hopped up. There to make the catch is Hoskins, and that's the first out of the inning. Now that the pitcher. Ready to take his hats again. Sean Murphy. As he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball one. And a ball 1 0. Oh. Ball 1, no strike. That evens it up 1 and 1. Now here's the pitch. And that misses <laughs> two and two. as they got him with the slider there two away well we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one the no bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort hey. turned in by the starter these Ooh, days yeah. pitching has become a full staff effort and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far Victor Robles will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher Hardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. He'll step in here at 275. Six home runs and 34 driven in. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Slider swung on and grounded toward short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Three up, three down for Washington. Still a two-run deficit. It's five to three. Then 
Daniel Hudson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 47, Daniel Ready to begin the eight. Now it would be the catcher, Zach Collins. Zach Collins. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. That's a pitch right there. You've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. If you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 1-2 pitch. Weak roller right side. The off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now batting. Number 77. Scott Kingley move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Misses up and in. Fouled away. down the right field line out of play so that'll move the count to two and two now. Here it comes. We got three balls and when two you're playing strikes. close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. He's set. Here's the three and two on the ground to the left side. This is going to find its way into the left for a one out knock. The batter, number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. At the plate now, Gene Segura. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Standing. 
got him to go down after that one. It's two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. To the plate now, Logan Forsythe. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia, and it remains 5-3. to three. Hector Neris is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now half of the eighth. For Philadelphia, number 50, Hector Neris. Here now is Trey Turner. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Here they go. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Splitter that misses no too low, and he's behind two and oh now. Ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Pitch on the way. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Two two, hit down the third baseline. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. Uh, two two, one more time. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Withenshaw is there, and he has it for the first down. Now back, right Adam. Ethan. Riding in once again, Adam Eaton. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Right there for strike one. On one. Bases are empty, one man out. Here we go. And it's fouled away. Ready on 0 and 2. This one's One outside. Quite a good off the plate that time. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Coming to the plate now. One solo. He's hitless in three at bats at this point. First pitch of the at bat. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0 and 2. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
one. He dusted him off the plate two. that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Nationals gone in order. They're still down 5-3. Start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Mark Withenshaw. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Soto is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Two hits in four attempts to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Not his best oh, effort one. that time. He'll strike one. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Bryce Harper goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. First pitch on its way. Comes set and the 0-1. Nope, up there. Hey, if you're gonna throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infield. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order as they hang on to their 5 3 lead. David Robertson comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 30. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring forth the rookie Leo. outfielder, Jeremy De La Rosa. The center fielder, Jeremy De La Rosa. First pitch coming, here it is. But that's ball in there for a tall strike. Time run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. A ball and a strike now. Popped up. Segura is there for it. He's got it one away. Now that Digging in now, Starlin Castro. He could really use a knock here over three in the game so far. From the stretch. And he fouls this one off. A 
one pitch on its way. Ball one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. One out, nobody on. Rip down the first base line. Hoskins grabs it cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batter. Number four. Riding into the box, number four comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First offering on its way. Count one and oh. delivery. Ball That's left wide 2-0. Oh. Robertson has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today. At least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor-made, Matty V, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns are blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with, and more importantly, he comes out with an attitude, and that attitude is nasty. Oh, he gets a lot of swings and misses. 3-0 to him now. Pitch walk here. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down Don't late, you need three. base runners Don't any way you can get them, and that oh, never say die mentality never. could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Settling in now, Tyler Nevin. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. strike here it comes ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in anytime you can win a game let alone on the road you have to feel really good about yourself it's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win but they did just that five to three the final score in this afternoon's game the Phillies jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back Medina earns his third win of the year in relief. David Robertson wraps it up for the save, his seventh of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.